quarterbacks are leaders when they step into the huddle. The greats are remembered for their play and how they lead their team. North Carolina quarterback Marquise Williams shows his true colors when he steps on to lead the Tar Heels every Saturday. I never give up. When something hits me, I'm never gonna give up and I'm just gonna keep striving to be the best I can be. And you know, I thank God for just allowing me to play this game. And you know, he just, every day, every day I just competed and I competed and I worked hard and I worked hard. And I just played with a chip on my shoulder every time I had the opportunity to. Marquise Williams grew up in Shelby, North Carolina, a small town that molded his leadership into the man he is today. Growing up, you know, you always want to be the best athlete coming out of a small town. And, you know, I'm watching all the big time athletes come out of there. And it's always been incredible to just come out of a small town and doing things for a small city. He was a good kid. You know, he was, uh, loved to have fun, play around and everything. He was a good kid, yeah. More active, you know, run around, like play sports. Football, basketball, outside all the time. I've been playing quarterback since I was eight years old, and it's been coming a long time, and it's been fun, you know? When I, I was looking back when I really couldn't even throw like that, and you're just a kid that, like, you in the pop one, and you just run the quarterback sneak all the time. You never really threw the ball and things like that, so I've been quarterback since I was a little boy. To get more recognition for playing football, Marquise and his family had a tough decision to make, stay in Shelby or move to Charlotte. I told Marquise, I said, look now, hey, I'm let you hang out in Shelby a little bit more longer, but now you're moving to Charlotte. That didn't sit well with Marquise. He would want to move to Charlotte. That summer, my dad was like, you know, just let you know you'll be coming and moving to Charlotte with me. And man, something took toll on me. Like, I can't move. I can't, all my best friends are here. My cousins are here. I, I'm not gonna be able to play with them anymore. And I just don't want to go to a bigger city. And I'm like, man, I can't do this. I cannot do this. And that took toll. My dad was like, man, it was a better opportunity. And you know, that was a bigger city and everybody could get to see me and my talents and what I could do. Next morning he went to school and <laughs> I asked him how his first day went. More crazy was like, he went all right. I, I met a friend, he went through the same thing I went through. And uh, you know, he's, he's doing all right, he, I'm okay. I said, all right, and cool. So it grew on him a little bit. And as it grew on him, you know, it, it kind of got him. It went on from there. So my dad took a big, a big role in that, of me moving from Shelby to Charlotte. Being the new kid in a new city can be rough. And Marquise had to earn the trust of his new teammates at Mallard Creek High. People heard me talk and they was like, oh, we have a name for you and it's big country. I'm like, what does that mean? They was like, you really are country, bro. Like, you really are country and you're not a city guy. I'm like, all right, then. It just felt weird because, you know, you, you wouldn't talk like them or you wouldn't do things they would do. And it's just the adjustment. It was just bigger. I let them know, hey, man, you, you're not going to put me down. I'm going to just come out here and I'm going to throw for 400 and I'm going to probably rush for 100 and probably end up maybe seven or eight touchdowns, just like I did at Mallet Creek. The foundation was set from that first group of kids. Uh, you know, Marquise, you know, he was a freshman at the time. He, uh, he had it rough. He's gonna get all the blame when we lose, but he'll get a lot of the credit when we win. And he responded well. You know, he became a leader in the locker room, a leader in the building, and um, just had a fantastic career here. Marquise won a state championship at Mallard Creek, and after his junior year, committed to North Carolina. But during his redshirt year, North Carolina announced that coach Larry Fedora would be taking over the reins of the program. Everybody was telling me like, bro, you should just get up out of there because you're going to be just some other name that just was a top recruit and then just being looked over. And then I was just like, man, nobody's going to look me over. I'm just going to compete. He was a very talented young man. You could see that he had all the skills. In fact, he had the skills that we really look for in a quarterback in this offense because he can beat you with both. He can beat you with his arms, he can beat you with his legs. Uh, you know, and at that time, I had no idea of, of the personality and, and uh, whether he had the it factor or not, you know, and so that, that was something that we had to learn as we went. Marquise really looked up to Brent. 
Um, you know, he looked at him as a guy who, who was the leader of the team. He had the experience. He played. Um, you know, he kind of looked up to him as, as as he was the guy. You know, and and I'm just gonna when his time is done, I'm gonna it's gonna be my time. This guy took me in, and to see him his career go down over an injury the way it did, it, it just took everything out of me. And I was like, you know. For this next game, I'm gonna honor him and I'm gonna put his jersey on and I'm gonna go put up some numbers like Brent would have did when, if he was playing in Saturday's game. Marquise did it all that game. He threw, he ran, he caught, all to memorialize the leader he looked up to. I got emotional when I got off the um, bus for the victory walk. It, it just some, something hit me, you know, because I knew he was right there beside me. He wasn't in the locker room, but I knew he was beside me. Come on to field, but I knew he was just cheering on me. So I dedicate this game for two. He had a great deal of respect for Bryn, and and wearing his jersey was it was a sign of that. And Marquis stepped in and said, you know what, this is my time. I'm I'm going to be the the leader of this team and and do what I can to help us win. And he stepped in and and didn't blink. Since then, Marquise has been the leader of North Carolina's offense, captaining Fedora's spread to unprecedented heights. When, when something shuts down or when something's not there, you know, he, he, can, he can improvise and he can you know, do a lot of things that some, some more quarterbacks can't. There's no doubt he's always been in that leadership role. He's always accepted that. He's always done a good job. And then it was just maturing as you go and, and growing in that position. As a quarterback, you have, you have to do the little things. Um, it was the little things that helped me just to be more mature and appreciate what I have around here.